Hello boys, so it's your boy Ashfe Gaming. Well, if you're new to the channel, guys, please like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And also ring that bell notification if you're new. Okay. Um. Well, recently I did post a video about Elgato Capture Card. Okay. So now let's say if you're stuck with your uh, I don't know, you're not getting the the best refresh rate. All right. Say you have a 1440p monitor and your monitor is capable of 144 hertz okay or maybe 165 hertz via display port and whatnot okay so as you can see if i go to display settings um right there let me show you that uh, okay so as you can see how big this scale is all right it's over 300 unrecommended and yes this thing is set on recommended right here okay but uh if i do advanced display and as you can see the desktop mode is uh displaying uh 2160 by 60 hertz active signal mode as well is 2160 by 60 hertz but um as you can see uh choose a refresh rate i'm stuck on 60 hertz all right so i'm gonna show you how you're gonna fix this all right so what you what you wanna do is okay so you're gonna find this El, uh, El Gato capture card utility all right so i'm just gonna put that right there okay and then what you wanna do you wanna click on settings all right so you know go to general um yeah this is my recording setting right here so make sure that you gotta set your uh video encoders so that it use your graphic cards to record set it on automatic or you can manually choose right here and for the format video i've chosen to go with uh 1440p 60 fps okay you can go higher or you can do uh 1080p as well but i'm gonna stick with this okay and then i'm gonna hit apply now to fix that problem you want to go to device and then as you can see right here so for the hdmi color range you want to leave that on bypass same as input uh for this one edid okay input edid so this thing you want to keep it as internal so this too you want to mess with those settings okay so say right here i'm gonna for this one edid internal i'm gonna switch that to let's say 1440p okay and when i when i will hit apply see what will happen um you might not noticing my obs screen might okay the screen might uh, might smush or like just for a second until i fix this all right now my whole screen goes dark okay i, I just get a black screen okay and let me refix that okay let me see okay yeah okay it is displaying okay and you should be able to see this and now try to go to inside your display settings and go to advanced display and as you can see right here is a refresh rate were immediately selected to 144 hertz okay and this thing might be changing so you'll have to do uh, that a few times like um okay just like that all right so now as you can see the desktop mode is uh 2560 by 1440p 144 hertz and the same with the active signal mode as well 144 hertz okay so as you can see right here 20, uh, 2560 by 1440p which is recommended and even the scale as well is set to default which is a hundred percent okay recommended uh i don't want to mess with hdr because when i turn this hdr i don't like it because uh the screen just becomes uh, a little dim okay a, a little orange or whatever so i turn this off for hdr all right it's not really hdr 10 plus but whatever okay 
So yeah. Mm, what? Not this one because I only have one monitor. So I'm gonna go. I just gonna see right here. So now as you can see, this is the highest refresh rate. Okay. So yeah, this, this is how it's supposed to work. And uh, yeah, I can either go to small icons or choose medium. I prefer medium, medium icons on my desktop right there. Okay. So this is how we basically fix it guys. Okay. So you'll have to basically mess around with those two settings that, uh, EDI, the internal and the other one so uh i chosen i chose that one to be on um what was it okay and now let's say if you reopen this uh elgato 4k capture utility and when you go to device uh it should this thing should be right here and the the video output should be displayed as 1440p 144 okay so like that I wish there was uh, a thing that we would be able to save this as a profile so that every time it changes uh, okay so as you can see right here it rechanges so yeah firmware version video detected not all right so yeah this thing rechanges okay so I'm gonna do let me see what just happened So we're really gonna go there. Oops, nope, not this. Let me switch to keep changes. And yeah, here it is. So um what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep that as input EID mode. Let's do display and this one I'm going to set it to 1440p. Hit apply and OK. All right. So now um, let's see what. Yeah. So OK. Now it's going to uh, just wait for a few seconds. Uh, still, if you're. If it's. Yeah, uh, as you can see, now it detected the desktop. So if I close it and now I go to display settings once again. And as you can see, now if I go to my refresh rate, it is set on 144 hertz. Okay, right here. Choose a refresh rate. I can go to 120, but I'm, I'm going to keep it at 144 hertz. Okay, guys. Uh, so just in case, if this thing just uh, really happen to change by itself so now you know how to fix it okay thanks so much for watching i hope store was helpful